Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, wait, did I do that? No. Anyway, um, today I'll be showing you some armor setups. Um, so we have all the armor going from worst to best. To, um, well, actually, gold and iron should be switched around. I think. Well, actually, I think gold does protect you more, but I think it has less durability. I haven't really. I don't really use gold over iron because. It, I mean, yeah, it's not that good, but you have leather, chainmail, iron, and into the turtle helmet, turtle shell helmet, which um, I would definitely suggest that, um, using even over diamond that's usually because um, if you're doing a lot of stuff underwater, then this would be better than a diamond helmet because it gives you underwater breathing. And you have gold and diamond being the best. Now, for all of these uh, pieces of armor, you will want unbreaking, free, and mending. I don't know why I did that. that was an accident. And uh, th here's some unique enchantments that uh, certain oh, sets of armor have. They have feather falling, aqua affinity, respiration, feather falling again, apparently. Feather falling. I don't know why I put feather falling three times. Yeah. Anyway, so aqua affinity and respiration. Aqua affinity means that you can mine faster underwater. Respiration free thing. I think, if I remember correctly, it means that you don't have to, um, you know, go up for air as long, you know, for as long. So, um, combine this with the turtle shell helmet. Um, and then you're going to be really good on the water. Feather, <coughs> feather falling basically means you don't take a, take as much fall damage, which yeah, I definitely suggest. So um, I would definitely suggest having all three of these on your armor. Um, I'm really sure that's somewhere to talk about. Anyway, so um, we have some sets here. We have uh, fire protection, blast protection, fire protection and regular protection. Now, I always go for regular protection because it basically does all these, so, uh, but it's not very fair to just say, oh, well, protection's best, and uh, these three aren't quite as good, because protection protects you against more than just fire, explosions, and projectiles. It also protects you from melee and other types of damage. Uh, so like from, I think, the end of the breath. I don't know exactly um, what other things, but I do know it does protect you from more, like zombies hitting you and other things hitting you, so I definitely know it protects you against those with none of these. Um, let's just, oh, that's the wrong one. Um, setting. Let's in the game mode. Survival. So, ow, he's shooting me. Okay, so yeah, we're first we're going to uh, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, first we're going to set him with no armor, then diamond armor, then enchanted with you know whatever it is, and then protection. So this skeleton does about half a heart to me. One heart, half a heart, one heart. I think that's my heart. Half a heart, one heart, half a heart, half a heart, one heart, and then. So, uh, let's get di regular diamond armor on. Nothing. Half a heart. Half a heart. Half a heart. Half a heart. So yeah, he's basically doing no damage to me. Like on occasion he'll do damage, but with full diamond on, there's no real reason why you should die to one skeleton. Now with projectile protection. This should pretty much be overkill from what we've seen. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Half a heart, finally. So yeah, every once in a blue moon he'll do half a heart to you, but yeah, if you're wearing projectile protection, uh, you shouldn't even die to a horde of skeletons. Uh, 
Oh yeah, the only enchantment that can be applied to armor that I wouldn't really suggest is forms because it uses up more dur durability and it, uh, it, I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker, but I'd say it's definitely not one you'd actually seek out. Seek out. So, regular protection, nothing, nothing, no, nothing that did half heart, nothing, uh, I did half heart, nothing. So about 50% of the time he does half a heart to you with projectile protection, uh, with regular protection on. Which I think is more than enough because you're not really going to face more than one skeleton at a time. So let me just um, kill this guy here. While we're here, we might, we might as well do fire protection instead of go walking back and forth. So, fire protection. How long does it take me to die in here? Yeah, two, two, two. So, lava will do two hearts of damage to you. With no armor on. With diamond armor on. About half a heart of damage. Um, and sometimes it doesn't do any damage. And then, oh, I think it did one heart damage there, maybe. Yeah, half heart, sometimes one heart. Um, where is usually just half a heart. So we'll say half heart to one heart with a uh, diamond. Fire protection. Half a heart sometimes. Um, so something I want to talk about fire protection quickly. There's a, also a potion called fire resistance and these names should be really switched around because fire protection would insinuate that you're immune to fire which potions fire resistance does but fire resistance means that you're not immune to it you're just uh, it's just going to take more to kill you which is what fire protection does so I think all the like projectile, blast, and fire protection should be renamed to resistance, and fire resistance potion should be, be renamed to fire protection. Anyway, so yeah, um, it's taking away from dying there. But it does do a lot of damage to your armor, like you do not want to spend a long time in there. So let me just die quickly to get full hearts. So with regular protection, half heart, half heart. So it's only gonna, ooh, one heart, half heart, half heart. So yeah, you're definitely taking more damage than fire protection, but not really by much. Like you are still gonna spend a ridiculously long amount of time in this lava. And I'm not even eating anything. You could also supplement this with food, which would get your saturation up. Meaning you'd heal faster. So yeah. You really don't need fire protection to survive a while in lava. Now blast protection. So. I'm going to get one stack of TNT out of here. Hug the TNT. Insta death. With no armor on. Diamond down. Diamond down on. Hugging the TNT will do. About half your health. Yeah, about half health. Now, my original plan was to use River for this, but he does do explosion damage, but he also does. River it. He also gives you the river potion effect, which which fudge the numbers a bit. So with blast protection, plugging a block of TNT will do two hearts. So yeah, being as you have uh, twenty health and then that's ten. Hearts. And then, and then uh, so yeah, about five from five from about five hearts, two heart, well, five, uh, yeah. Okay, so from about ten hit points to about uh, four to 
to 10 to 4 hit points. Yeah, definitely, if we're going to be exploding a lot, then this is definitely better than just regular diamond armor. But is it good enough to justify uh, having black protection period and not just having regular protection? It basically does half heart more. Wait, no. Did I just... Oh, that did absolutely... Okay. Yeah, so that did one and a half hearts of damage to me. And then three hearts. Nothing. I don't, I don't know why it keeps on doing that. Yeah, so it seems to be about three hearts damage. Each time. Which, being as this would also protect you from other things, which uh, the other f other three thing, other two things, and even more than that, I definitely suggest that I definitely would suggest using pr uh, regular protection over uh, any of the others, because it just protects you. It doesn't protect you as well from these specific things, but it just protects you from more things, and it, even these things that it's not specialized in. It still protects you quite well. Um, so yeah, that's the analysis of the diet of armor. Enchantments you want is unbreaking, mending, feather falling, and uh, respiration and aqua affinity with protection. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest one because, uh, the biggest one I have to do because, um, I don't know why I keep on pressing that. Um, because I have to make this entire layout for all the different types of armor. And I had to make this entire area back here just to test them out, which is slightly exploded from me messing around with TNT another time. But yeah, this it. If you want to know what enchantments to use on your armor, there you go. Protection and all the other ones like this list stuff earlier. Oh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. And the one problem I have with my new setup is that it, the TV is half a mile away from, from my chairs. So.